DATV and the Greater Dayton Area League of Women Voters present Meet the Candidates, your chance to learn about the candidates running for office in the November election. Hello, I'm Patty Skilka and I'm president of the League of Women Voters of the Greater Dayton area. And I'm here talking with two candidates for Trotwood Mayor, uh, Mary Ann McDonald and Joyce Sutton Cameron. We're gonna start out by giving each candidate two minutes to speak to the voters, to tell you whatever they would like you to hear about themselves, why they're running, why they want the job, and why they're qualified for the job. Um, Joyce, let's start with you. You have two minutes to talk to the voters. Thank you. During this, time, which is a critical time in the city of Trotwood, we must continue to show the growth in our community that is already taking place. We are taking place with our housing stock, with our repurposing of our big box buildings, bringing businesses in, business retention, and we would like to continue on with that commitment. I am into giving the specifics and I will deliver. I am asking for your vote this November for the person to continue as mayor in the city of Trotwood. Thank you. Mary Ann, you have two minutes to talk to the voters. My name is Mary McDonald. I've served on the city, of count, city council in the city of Trotwood for the last 10 years. During these 10 years, I've listened to a number of concerns the citizens have had regarding the advancement, the growth, and the development of the city of Trotwood. There is major unrest in the city of Trotwood as to the challenges that we are facing. I currently want to meet those challenges by helping our city advance in relationship building and moving and working together with our legislative bodies beyond the city of Trotwood so that we can bring our citizens the kind of satisfaction that they deserve. The city of Trotwood is excited to know that there's an opportunity for a new direction. And I want to be that leader of that new direction. Thank you. Um, we're going to stick with you, Mary Ann, for the first question. There's a lot of talk. Uh, we read about it in the papers and hear about it on the news about city and county mergers. What do you think of that idea? And would the city of Trotwood benefit in any way from a merger? You know, I haven't heard all the details regarding the merger. Um, there's a level of dissatisfaction, a level of distrust that I have in the process simply because I understand there is a lot of work being done in that area and we've not been brought to the table. And as a result of that, it kind of makes me wonder if our needs are going to be represented properly and our needs are going to be met simply because we're not at the table at the very beginning. So, you know, as it stands right now, I'm a bit skeptical. Um, I think uh, it's, it's due that uh, you would be skeptical if you weren't a part of the building of that process. Thank you. Joyce, what would you like to say about that? I, I would like to say that when I heard the news of this coming forward, I was very, very at an unrest position. I knew that the position of the merger was being discussed, but without any details. I would think that it would only suppress the suppressed and build on those who are already on the, at the table. I am in opposition to this, and I have read, and there are many details that are left out of that plan for the people of Trotwood. Thank you. Um, Joyce, we're gonna stick with you. What ideas do you have or steps could, do you think could be taken to make the city of Trotwood more attractive to attract business? What would make Trotwood more attractive? First is that we must build our tax base in the city of Trotwood. We have homes, we have buildings, we have a lot of vacancy in our community. We are working currently with Jobs Ohio, Dayton Coalition, the businesses, and retaining the businesses that we do have to move Trotwood forward. We are also working with our schools to better educate our children to be prepared for the future in the city of Trotwood. Thank you. Mary Ann, same question. How would you go about trying to attract business to Trotwood? Well, one of the things I do to, track, to attract businesses to Trotwood is to make our city more uh, business friendly. 
you know, most of the people that I've talked to that have contacted me at different times saying that they were interested in opening up a business in Trotwood, they felt that there was a lot of bureaucratic uh, uh, challenges that they had to go through to qualify, to work, to open their businesses up in the city of Trotwood. I'd like to remove those barriers and let businesses know that we are user friendly. We'd like you here. We want you to be a part of our growth and development and to make it a better and a pleasant process to be a part of the city of Trotwood is growth and its, its development. Thank you. Marianne, um, I'm gonna stick with you here. How do you feel about restoring the inheritance tax? Are you favor it or against it? I, you know, I am not really clear on all of the restoring the inheritance tax, but I will tell you the city of Trotwood has been uh, so challenged by the loss uh, of dollars at the state level. And I think that anything that has been taken away from the city of Trotwood, you know, we really seriously need to be looking at it from the state perspective. You know, I, I really uh, need to take opportunities to speak with our legislative body higher up to just find out exactly what, how and when do they expect our cities to be successful uh, with the continued cuts that are coming from, this, the, uh, from Columbus. Thank you. Joyce, how about you? How do you feel about that? There are two things involved here. When you talk about taxes and the taxes being taken away from the government funding that we depend on to make our citizens happy during the services that we provide to them. Number one, the house bills that are currently been put in place, they have hurt us so bad and this particular tax will continue to hurt the city of Trotwood. We have over 300 thousand dollars just in one tax that is supposed to be returned to our city. We are currently trying to undergo, trying to fix that in preparing to go forward with our budget process in the city of Trotwood. It, is, it will continue to happen if we do not stay in tune with our legislative elected officials on the higher level. It is so important that the elected officials on the higher level realize that they are hurting the citizens of Trotwood. Thank you. Joyce, I'm going to stick with you. When a community and is in economic distress, as so many, if not most, are right now, do you think it's appropriate for elected officials to freeze their salaries and forego any increases? until things get a little healthier? Speaking on that behalf, we have in Trotwood have done those things. We have froze salaries, we have put people on furlough, and we have done those things. But we also released that in 2012 for our employees. I think that when we're dealing with insufficient funding, we must take those things to keep the people who are willing to provide those public services to our community. So we have did that, hoping that we do not have to do it again. And moving forward, with all of the cuts, we don't know what we are going to be faced with at this time. Thank you. Marianne, how do you feel about that? Should salaries be frozen and held, held uh, exactly where they are when, when the cities are in trouble? Yeah, I, I think right now with where we are overall as a city with the number of cuts that we're experiencing and uh, the flat line growth, I think it's, it's imperative that we all kind of steady the course and try and work our way through this process. And should there be an opportunity in the future, we could relook at this and possibly look at increases. But right now at the current state of affairs of the city of Trotwood, I don't see that that's something that we should be doing. Thank you. We're now going to give each candidate, uh, Marianne, we'll start with you, two minutes to speak to the voters and uh, wrap up your presentation. Tell them anything you think they'd like to hear. Okay. Again, my name is Mary McDonald, and I'm running for the office of the mayor of the city of Trotwood. I've spoken to many, many of our citizens, and there is huge dissatisfaction. There is a huge unrest in terms of the pride that the city of Trotwood citizens want to have in their community. I want to work at addressing that. I think it's awfully, awfully sad when you live in a community and you're not proud and you're not feeling good about where you're living simply because of lack of information and lack of inclusion.
What I want to work hard at is transparency, inclusion, openness, and a welcoming community for citizens to move in, and not only citizens, but for businesses to locate in. I think it's imperative that we have the kind of leadership that understands that it's important to acknowledge the stress and the, the challenges of its citizens. And that's something that I want to spend my time doing, number one, to heal our community, and then number two, to watch its growth and expansion. I'm excited. Again, I'm Mary McDonald. I'm running for the office of the mayor of the city of Trotwood, and I'm extremely excited about its future, and I'm excited about its growth and development at my leadership. Thank you, Mary. Joyce, your turn, two minutes to talk to the voters. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Joyce Sutton Cameron, and I am the current mayor of the city of Trotwood. I have been the mayor of the city of Trotwood for six years, going through the challenges, turning them into opportunities with results into the com community of Trotwood. I am going forward on my years of experience, my time at the table, having the time to do those things that are so important to the citizens of Trotwood. Uh, to the citizens of Trotwood, I have listened to you. I have listened to you on the walks and talks, on being in the community, being involved with the community. I have brought funds to the community, to the city of Trotwood. I have engaged with many organizations to bring those things that are needed to the citizens of Trotwood. We are moving forward in the city of Trotwood. We are moving forward under the leadership that is already in place, and I intend to stay in place and listening to you and giving you the specifics and, and I plan to deliver and I am asking for your vote on November the 3rd to continue the progress of our city already in motion. Thank you. Thank you and thank you both. What a, what a good meeting this has been. Um, I want to thank our candidates for taking the time to be here and help the voters make up their minds. I want to remind all the voters to remember to vote. It is a right, it is a privilege, and in my opinion, it is a duty. Election day is November 3rd. Starting a couple weeks before the election day, uh, the League of Women Voters will be sponsoring a hotline, 228-4041. You can call in if you've got questions about your polling place, uh, necessary identification, almost any question you have, we can answer, and we're happy to do so. You could also check out our website if you want to, which is lwvdayton.org. And with that, I want to thank everybody and thank you for watching and goodbye.